It's Monday, and that means it's Feral Monday, but it's also Monday in October. It's going to be Feral Spooky Monday. I'm gonna do a Halloween look today, and then I might do another one tomorrow. Today we're gonna do Beetlejuice. I've done Beetlejuice before, but I thought it'd be fun to do it uh, a little bit more, maybe a little differently than I've done in the past. I've only done Beetlejuice once, and I think this will be really fun. And then I have another idea, but I don't wanna give it away, but we'll do it tomorrow. It's gonna be easy, but time consuming, because there's gonna be rhinestones tomorrow. Mm -hmm. But it's gonna be pretty easy. Today, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know where we're going. I know we're doing Beetlejuice, but I don't know how complicated we're gonna get. But I do know that we're gonna be using these. I'm really excited. These are from NDB Cosmetics, and these are basically foundations, but in brown, black, white and green. So Beetlejuice colors and then purple, but that'll just be the eyes. I'm going to spot test and see if this and the black stains. I'm going to do it on my hand. We have a tip for that. That's the calamine lotion, which I might be doing, but let's, let's just put a really small amount on my hand and let it sit there because we're going to do eyes first anyway. So that's a really good, this is really important. If you want to do any kind of Halloween makeup, this is probably the most important because I'm assuming that most of you might have things to do the day after Halloween that might be important and we can't go to work and live our life. Well, we can, because I have before. But if you don't want to and you don't want to stain, this is really important to see what is going to stain and what isn't. So the white's not going to stain. We obviously know that. But let's swatch the green, the black, and the brown and let's see what's happening with that. And then that's all we have to do. That's going to be enough. Just let it sit. Give it a while though. Give it at least at least 10 minutes to see if it's gonna stain. Oh, and we're gonna do this entire Beetlejuice look with just these five brushes. It can be done. So I thought that this palette was so fitting because I need royal purples anyways. And is this not just absolutely beautiful? Ah, it's attacking me, it is spooky and Halloween. But this is just stunning. I know that these are colors that some of us might not gravitate towards, but for me and what I do every day, this is definitely something that I love. Um, the packaging just feels incredible. Wasn't it terrifying? Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> so pretty. All right, let's get started. So we're doing some clean canvas in the shade Fair on our cream concealer brush. But we're gonna do black base here, so don't worry about your lid because the black is really gonna make that purple pop. But I still want it to not be just completely dark. I am gonna let it be pretty smoky, but I still wanted to keep the brow bone from about here up um, a little bit closer to my skin tone. We're gonna set it with some white eyeshadows, but I still didn't want it to just be absolutely black all the way up to my brow. There we go, picked up enough now. Now we're gonna do our City Color Black Base, and that's gonna go from our lid to wherever it goes. Let's see where it ends up. Perfect. We're gonna use that same brush, tap that in, Well, let's just make sure it's nice and even. I don't mean blended here, I just mean even. I don't want to see lumps or clumps or any of that. We're about to go on to the purple. Look at this. Sheila, we love Sheila. Okay, nice little wipe. Mmm. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of this color and I'm just gonna ever so lightly transition it. This isn't gonna be one of our kind of normal transitioned perfect eyes because I want it to look a little bit more spooky, a little bit more costume and a little bit more like an eye socket, but also elevated still. So we're just gonna take a little bit of this and just soften it and add a little bit more of the pinky purple, um, which is this one. So I wanna kind of leave this a little harsh because I want it to more, look more like an eye socket. This look doesn't have to be so pretty. We can add lashes and that's still gonna add a really um, kind of, I don't know how to say it, 
just more glam, a more glam aspect to it. This color is perfect for Beetlejuice. It's so perfect. So we're gonna pick this color up and we're gonna press this into the socket. And I'm picking it up, I picked it up on the side of the brush. And remember, this is more of a costume. This is a little bit more edgy and even more, a little bit more feral than what I would normally do because I'm really loving that idea of keeping it looking like a skeleton eye socket. So I'm gonna grab some on the tip of the brush, the same color, and I'm just gonna make sure I have a little bit more precision over this way. Now let's take this stage white, same brush by the way, we're gonna take it on the side and really pack that onto the brow bone and just kind of continue to set the rest of that base. Ooh, this is fun. I might add a little bit more purple, the warmer purple, I should say the more pink purple. But I wanted to make sure this was all set. And then we can take it on the tip of the brush and kind of carve this out to continue kind of looking like an eye socket. And a little bit more of that more pinky purple. And now I'm trying to decide if I wanna put something sparkly on my lid. Now, we're still gonna to need to trust the process on this. I'm not even gonna worry about cleaning up underneath here. We're gonna clean that up later with the um, face makeup. And I also really wanna keep it rounded. So once I get all of that base on that I'm about to put on, I might even extend this, but more rounded. So we gotta trust that process. But right now, let's do liner on our top and bottom waterline that glided on. This is also from Melt. They have such good stuff. And then let's just go ahead and put this on our lash line as well. All right, so Halloween is my time to just absolutely just go to makeup town. So I'm going to find a neon pigment. I have a purple neon pigment that I wanna put right in the center of my lid. I think it'll be so fun but I gotta find it. So if I disappear for a couple minutes, I'm searching. I found it. It was so hidden. So a few years ago, I used to do wild looks. If y'all ever have time to scroll down. Um, I don't know, I just feel like they, they weren't helping y'all. So I kind of stopped doing them, but I had so much fun stuff. So these are from OPV Beauty. And this is their neon pigment powder and the shade is purple. I just grabbed it on the side of the brush here and we're just gonna press that right in the center. And we're actually almost done with the eyes. Oh, that's so cool. I'm gross. So we're gonna put on lashes. I'm just putting on e.l.f. roller lash, doesn't matter. I'm not even gonna put on that much to make a difference with my lashes here because we're putting on falsies. All I'm doing is darkening them so they don't kind of stand out up against the falsies. But I was gonna tell y'all that I even have the Beetlejuice jacket. My mom made it, it's super cool. So I'm gonna put that on too. We're going, we're just playing dress up today. We're going all the way in. But I mean, we're basically done with the eyes. So that's kind of cool. We'll do a little bit more shaping, but again, we can't do that until we get our base on. Libre lashes. This is style number five. I want to wear these again. I really loved them. They wore so comfortably the other day. Um, love everything about them. 10 out of 10. I would recommend. <laughs> All right, so we have our Calamine lotion on our cream sculpting blush. We're going to do a very, and it only takes a very light layer, but it does make a difference. And we're using the brush that we're going to use as our foundation brush. Just do an even light layer of this, and then I need my hand fan, which has R-U-N-N-O-F-T. Okay, I just wiped this off, and just as suspected, I knew the green was going to stain. Knew it. It is what it is. Some pigments just stain. Purple stain, greens can stain, um, pinks can stain. Did I say red? Well, obviously, no red stains. Um, there's a lot, there's a lot that stain. And you know what? That's sometimes one of the reasons why certain eyeshadow palettes, and I love, I'm, I'm gonna use Wet n Wild as an example. And this is an educational moment too, because this is a an adorable little palette, okay? I love it. But really quickly on the back, it'll say some of these aren't eye safe. And just for quick reference, these two right here are on that list. 
So that's a really good lesson. And sometimes it can be because they irritate, but sometimes it can be as simple as they're going to stain your eyes. So that's a good lesson. And before this dries in here, <laughs> Jean Bean. Before that calamine lotion dries, just give it a nice wipe on Sheila here. There we go. See that? Nice. No clumpiness in there. And I can't stress enough that this needs to completely dry down. Uh, if it's not dry, it's just gonna mix with our green later. And we're only using small amounts of the green, but I still don't want staining in little patches all over my face, like so. But again, completely normal. I don't want you to think it's just this product. Um, it's gonna be with the most high-end face paints. It's just the pigment. But again, all I'm saying here is we're just gonna let that completely dry. Okay, we got our white face base here. And now, I still want a little bit of my skin tone to peek through here. So we're not going wildly full coverage, but we definitely are going for the Betelgeuse white kind of vibe. So we're gonna grab our brush and this is going to be perfect. Perfect, that's exactly what I'm going for. This is fun. We can still use a white concealer. I have one from LA Girl. It's affordable too. Can y'all believe we're only gonna use five brushes for this look? It's, it's wild. Oh, I'm gonna have to take a shower. <laughs> a long shower. We're having fun. Mm-hmm. We're gonna to switch to our sculpting detail brush now. And we're gonna really shape this. See how we're doing that? Kind of coming around here. And then I'll take kind of whatever's left and just do some small circular motions just to kind of brighten that up. Actually, I might grab the powder foundation to kind of come back in there. It's a little bit easier with that powder foundation. But around the brows, I definitely needed some more sculpting and sculpting we have. Just want to keep everything really rounded like eye sockets. Again, I just want to show you, do you see what we're doing here? We're just making this really rounded. I'm still going to put some more white concealer there, but I really want to round all of this out. It's almost a whisper of it. This is fun. Now we're going in with the concealer. But again, see how I'm leaving that? I'm just gonna swoop just to show you. I want it really rounded. It's little things like this that make a big difference. And then I wanted more coverage underneath my eye, just through here, just to really highlight. So we'll put this on the nose as well. you know, the normal highlight spots. Now, if you're wondering, I wanna give y'all options because I know that not everyone's gonna use this much face paint, but I also wanna show y'all this because this is a small business and we love supporting small businesses. But I do understand if you just wanted to get this and kind of do a similar thing, because it is so small and you're just going to use it maybe once, maybe twice. So I wanna give y'all options, but I mean, we just love supporting small businesses. So I think this is going to really kind of resemble a skull. So we're gonna grab that very first shade on the tip of our brush, and we're just gonna have really nice precision and just push that through here and even push it into the brow a little bit. Yeah, that's cool. Now, if you're thinking, why didn't we set this? This is going to be so much easier to do without setting it at first, especially with the shading. So right now we're just going around the black with the brown, same brush. Now we're gonna grab the black and we're gonna to start to work on the little patches. Let's just do this. We're just using five brushes. It's wild to me. I remember back in the day when I would do my Halloween looks, I would need 42 brushes. Wild. 
So we're just kind of starting our, our main hollow, if you will. I'm trying to think where else. Pick up a little bit more. And we're using this, the black face. Oh, wrong one. So we're gonna go black, and then we'll go brown, and then we'll go green. Kind of know what happens to my leg because I hit it everywhere in the house. Actually, I think I'm gonna do a really big chunk. It's hair washing night anyways. Um, let's take that black and let's do like a really big connecting chunk here with the black and the sculpting detail. Yeah, that's fun. And then we'll just go around these edges. I don't have to go all the way into my hair because I'm gonna put on a wig, but pretty close. Yeah, that looks more fun. I'm just kind of keep pulling. I'm using the side of the brush and you see how pretty the feathering is. <laughs> so pretty. <laughs> so we're gonna repeat these steps with powder eyeshadow as well. It's gonna give so much dimension. But first, let's wipe off our brush. We're wiping it off on Sheila, of course. And now we're gonna move into the green, but we only need a little bit of the green. I feel like we need less green than anything. And we're just gonna to start to really feather that in. That looks a little too bright but that's easy to fix. For one thing, just keep blending it into the brown. Or grab some of the actual brown and then just mix that in. Perfect. Now let's give it a nice tap over with our brush that we used earlier for foundation. And then we'll grab some eyeshadow that matches. Just like when we layer our cream bronzer and then we put powder bronzer on top it's dimension so that's going to add so much more dimension to this look doesn't this look cool though fun all right let's add our dimension i'm going to grab my pack of talk because it's going to have black and brown you can use any this was just closest do not think that you need this extra spicy price palette to do this so let's place that on top of the black and we're using the eyeshadow brush again and then we're going to switch over to the darkest brown in the palette and this is also going to set this as well. And then for green, I'm using, again, you, you have a green. I know you have a green. I don't want y'all to think that you need to go get this. This is, that's the fun of Halloween makeup. You're kind of using things that you already have and you don't normally use them. So we're just using a green that color. And if it gets too bright, just put a little bit of brown on top. Now we can go back in with our powder foundation and we can set. Blur the edges a little bit more. And then I might actually grab this one to set my under eye, the concealer one. That's perfect. Jean's taking a bath. If you hear some goblin noises, look how smoothing that is. Okay, that's great. And then we'll just go ahead and set the rest with the one size stage white. I love this stuff. I'm gonna add a little bit of this Makeup Forever contour shade. And we're gonna grab this brush for that. Just give us a little bit more shape here and a little bit around the nose as well. All right, let's continue underneath here now. We really want this to look like an eye socket. These are really nice. And then we'll connect it. And don't worry about that. In fact, that's not even all the way. So it's perfect, 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 perfect. <laughs> Let's grab that and then that's what we want. That's gonna go under here perfectly. Ooh, sculpting detail to save the day. Now I think we're gonna add a little bit of purple just to kind of tie it in as well to everything. I'm trying to decide what purple I want to use. We're not there yet. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm having way too much fun. Jean! Good gracious! There it is. It's already in my hand. I do that a lot. I'll be holding a brush and not know that I'm holding it. Then I'm gonna grab this shade, just a tiny amount of it. And then we're going to use our sculpting detail and we're just gonna ever so lightly smudge. Hmm, 
<laughs> I just wiped my lips off. Look how wild that looks. This eye shape is so cool. So cool. Actually, before, before I add anything else, let me take this white powder foundation again. And I'm just going to try to get this a little brighter through there. Perfect. Perfect. Now, we're going to take a little bit of this shade right here, just a little bit, and I'm just going to lightly tap in there as well. So lightly. There we go. Let's do some more of that neon purple underneath here. And we're going to use this Wet n Wild lipstick. It matches that perfectly. But then we'll do a black liner, and it's going to take it a little bit more... Depth. It's going to add a little bit more depth is what I was going to say. I'm kind of just like taken back. It's so much fun. But this is affordable. And then we'll do a NYX lip liner, which is also affordable. And then I'm going to grab the lipstick and shade. And then we'll do that black NYX lip gloss on top. Maybe. I'm about to go film a video on this, so I'm not going to spray it right now. I'm also about to put on a wig, so that's why my hair's wild. Um, this is a sealant. This is something that I normally wouldn't wear every single day on all of my makeup looks, but if you're wanting something that's going to seal in your Halloween look, I'll do a video. I've done this before. Y'all have seen it. It, it works. And you could do about three coats and that just means spray, let it dry, spray, let it dry, spray, let it dry, and then you're good. And then you can hug people and it's not going to come off on their Halloween costume. And then my wig is from Powder Room D. I have been wearing these wigs since 2015. I don't know. They're fantastic quality. Just fantastic. I'm going to tag Powder Room D right there. Now that I have my wig on, I want just a little bit more green. I'm going to add just a little bit more. Fun, right? Let's put on this black gloss. I'm not gonna put on as much. I learned my lesson. It's really pigmented. I think it'll be really pretty. This is from NYX. It's their butter gloss. And the shade is licorice. I wanna double check. It's not black licorice. I'm pretty sure it's just licorice. Yep. So I scared mom. She's fine, but I absolutely scared her. Isn't the jacket cool? She made this for me. So pretty. And then I tried to scare Ben, he was in a meeting, and then he just laughed. He's very used to this. This probably just looks like a natural glam to him at this point, bless that man. Um, but then he was on a meeting and then everybody else wanted to see it, so. Do I do meetings like this? Yes, yes I do. I also have a really fun idea to kind of do a, because nothing was scarier than the way that I would have done my makeup in the say late 90s, early 2000s. And then I found these, which I cannot even get open. Should we do that and maybe make that a Halloween costume? Our makeup of olden days? I think that would be so cute. I mean, the white frost and then this blue, immediately, yes, immediately. And then I even have this blush. And then I was gonna try to find some other, like the Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse do that. Oh my god. I think it'll be fun. I'll definitely save this to YouTube so you can reference it. You can learn a lot from this video. Um, if you want to do anything spooky this spooky season. I love you all so much. I don't know what I'm going to post tonight. I'm going to go film a couple more things. Um, I'm really excited to post that video now. I just had that idea. It was scary back then. Well, for me. Y'all were probably absolutely just wonderful with makeup, but listen. There were some, there were some struggle days. Okay, struggle days. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna post tonight, but either way, I'm here in the DMs. I'm always chatting with y'all. Y'all are my family and I love you so much.